In this video lesson, I'm going to look at increasing the size of my logical volumes. Now, in the previous lesson, we've gone ahead and removed all of our volume groups, the logical volumes, and removed the labels from the physical volumes as well. So I need to start from scratch. If I run sudo ls, or just run lsblk, I can see that I currently have four hard drives to work with, dev sdb, c, d, and e. So let's go ahead and create a volume group sudo vg create i'll call it my data dash vg and we'll add in dev sdb now let's go ahead and create our logical volume sudo lv create we'll use a hundred percent of that drive so i'll say a hundred percent free i'll say dash n let's go ahead and call it volume one lv and we're going to put this in my data dash vg as the volume group i have a syntax error somewhere ah i see it i am missing the dash little l lowercase l because i'm using the percent sign here so i need to use the lowercase l let's go ahead and run that it tells me that i had an ext formatted file system from before that's from a previous lesson i can go ahead and wipe that so let me do that all right, if I run sudo vg display dash v, I can now see that I have a volume group, my data vg. I have my logical volume, volume one dash lv. And I'm using all of the 255 extents on my one gig hard drive. There are zero free. So this is using up the entire space that I had available. Now let's just assume that my file system is getting very full and I now need to add in additional hard drives so that, so that I can extend my logical volume. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead now and run sudo bg extend. This is going to allow us to add an additional drive to my volume group. And let's go ahead and add in dev sd charlie. I also need to tell it which volume group, so I'm going to type in my data dash vg. There we go. So we're going to extend my data vg, that's the volume group, and we're going to add in the dev sdc. Okay, sudo vg display dash v. Now I've added this in, but I still have the entire drive full, so it's not using that part of my physical volume for my logical volume. So what I need to do there is similar to how the VG extends it, I need to tell my logical volume to extend. So if I run sudo LV extend, I can go ahead and say dash L and let me tell it to extend, I'll say plus 100% of the free space. So this is going to, with the plus symbol, it's going to increase it to increase it 100% of the free space. So it's going to take all of that free available physical extents that I have here and add it to the existing logical volume. Let me go ahead and now finish the command. I need to type in my data VG. And then we go ahead and use the forward slash to tell it which logical volume out of the volume group to use. That'll be volume one dash LV. Okay, so I can see here that the size of the logical volume, my data, volume, my data VG slash volume one dash LV, so that's the logical volume, has changed from 1,020 megabytes, which was 255 extents, to, and then it wraps around here, but 1.99. Let me just change this a little bit, see if I can. There we go, which is now 1.99 gigabytes totaling 510 extents. So this has now been increased. And if I run sudo vg display dash v, I can see that it's used up all of the extents from my dev sdc. And then I can also see the logical volume size has increased from one gigabyte now to just roughly under two gigabytes. So this allows me to add in or extend, add in a hard drive and then extend my logical volume to that hard drive. Let's go ahead and do just a little bit more here. I want to show you some of the power of increasing the, lo the logical volumes with LVM. So let's add in sudo vg extend 
my data VG. Let's add in dev SDD as well as dev SDE. So I added two more additional hard drives here. And let's go ahead and create now a second logical volume. So sudo LV create dash L. Let's do one gigabyte in size dash N and I'll call this one volume two dash LV. And we're going to place it in my data dash VG. So this command is going to now create a second logical volume. So if you think about it as a hard drive, that would be like creating a second partition. All right, it tells me still that I have an EXT signature. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that. There we go. So now it's created. If I run sudo VG display dash V, I can see as I go through this, here is my first logical volume, volume one. And if I look through here, here is my second logical volume right here, volume two. And it is one gigabyte in size. Coming down, well, let's point out a couple other things while we're here. This is using two segments, or basically two hard drives, in order to accomplish this, or two physical volumes. This is also using two, and that's because when I said one gigabyte, it just slightly went over the size of my drive. It rounded it up to include, if we take a look here, to include a little bit of SDD or all of SDD and one of those extents from SDE. So it just slightly went over that full hard drive into the next one. All right, to see this in more detail, I can look at sudo LV display dash M and see how they're mapped. So if I come and take a look at my logical volumes, let's see here, here we go. So this is volume two. And volume two starts off, this is on dev SDD, on extent zero all the way to 254. So this is my total of 255 extents. And then it wrapped over and just used a single extent from the SDE and it used actually extent zero. So that's my first available extent and it used from zero to zero. So it only used that one single extent from that drive. So it just barely wrapped over to that drive. Now here's where we can do some of the power of LVM. What if I plan on extending volume one? So volume one is here and volume one is taking up all of SDB as well as SDC. So if I think of it linearly, it's using up the first two hard drives. And then in my volume group, the next hard drive has been used up by a different logical volume. And then the last hard drive just has that one physical extent being used up by that logical volume as well. So if I want to expand my logical volume one, what's it going to do? Is it going to push back the physical extents from dev SDC or SDD and SDE? Or is it going to just fail? Because typically in partitions, we're not allowed to just expand a partition when another one butts up against it. So let's find out what happens because this is a typical thing we'll see using LVM. Let's try to extend volume one. sudo vg extend. Let's go ahead and do dash L. I'll do only 512 megabytes. My data slash, or my data dash vg slash volume one dash LV. All right, so I want to extend. Actually, I need to put the plus here. If I forgot the plus, that would have actually tried to set the entire volume group at only 512 megabytes. I want to extend it or increase it to increase it by 512 megabytes. So I need that plus symbol there. All right. If I try to run this, what's going to happen? Let's find out. Oh, it did not like VG extend invalid option dash dash L. Let's see what I have here. VG extend dash L. Okay, I see what I did wrong. I said VG extend. That's supposed to be an LV extend. Sorry about that. So we're going to say logical volume extend, not volume group extend. So logical volume extend dash L. We're going to increase it by 512 megabytes. This is the name of my volume group slash the name of the logical volume. Now the moment of truth. 
All right, what happened? Size of the logical volume my data VG changed from 1.99 gigabytes, which was 510 extents, to 2.49. So it did actually increase by that 512 megabytes. How in the world did this happen? Let's figure that out. sudo lv display dash m. If I hit enter and we take a look, here is volume one. And now I can pay attention. It's using a total of three segments now, which means three of those physical drives. I can see it still is using from zero to 254 on SDB. It's also using from zero to 254 on SDC, which is what I had prior to trying to extend it. And then it continues on. So my extends, here's 509. This is the logical extent, which is actually mapped to physical extent one of SDE. That's that second extent because the first one was used from my last volume group. So it just piggybacks on the back of that and it pushes or adds to it uh, the data that's needed to increase it, my 512 megabytes. So this is pretty amazing with LVM that I can just add in additional hard drives and instead of having to rearrange or move around all of my logical volumes, I can just simply extend my logical volume and it will take the first available free space and then continue expanding my logical volume based on that. All right, this concludes the lesson on increasing the size of my logical volumes.